This time of year, I find myself glancing at the tree branches more and more often, just looking for more signs of spring. We're still a few weeks away from some buds here in western New York. But what exactly is Mother Nature's wake-up call for the leaves and the flowers to start to bloom? That's what I'm answering in this week's Heather's Weather Wise. You don't have to go too far south of western New York to find spring and all of its glorious pollen in full bloom. This week is peak bloom for the cherry blossom trees down in D.C. Over one million people flock to the area to take in the sights like this that only last for a few days. The trick is knowing when to go. It's something forecasters start keeping tabs on in early March. But how do forecasters know when the leaves are going to return? There's two key factors to consider. One of them is consistent year to year, and it's the length of daylight. The second changes from year to year, and that's the amount of warm air, not just in springtime. The number of cold days during a plant's dormancy are just as important as the arrival of warm air. Each different type of plant and tree basically has its own winter internal clock, ticking off the cold days as we go. Once the plant reaches its magic number, if you will, for the winter season, poof, there go the blooms. So if autumn is a little bit cooler than normal, they can reach that number a bit sooner and the blooms may reappear a little bit sooner in the springtime. If like this past year, autumn is a bit warmer, we may extend those cooler days a little bit further into spring and the blooms will appear a little bit later. Of course, a bloom that's too early can be a bad thing. The DC cherry trees were a victim of a killing frost in 2017 after blooming on March 25th. And lately, the trend has been for these cherry blossom blooms to appear a little bit earlier. Just another tangible sign of some warmer autumns and earlier warm-ups during the spring. Here's a look at where some leaves and blooms have already returned in parts of the United States. The southeast saw the return of the leaves a couple weeks earlier than normal. Meanwhile, the Pacific Northwest, thanks to rain and some colder air, have seen their leaves come back just a little bit later. Leaf out in the interior northeast is usually sometime in late April or early May, and Cherry Blossom Festival this year in Delaware Park is scheduled for May 4th and May 5th. Remember, when you start seeing signs of spring around you, you can tweet them to us or send them to us on Facebook using the hashtag Beyond2. That's going to do it for this week's edition of Heather's Weather Wise. I'll see you next week with a new topic, but until then, remember, it's good to be a geek.